Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers, boy. And we're back up in it. Uh, we're gonna do a versus video. KD versus KD, who will win? KD or KD? This is the eight versus the nine. All right, Sammy did both of these, so let's, let's hop in on it. Okay, so s moving on to the traction. The traction in the KD8 uh, is, what are we gonna call it, like squares? Yeah. Square, square marks is yeah. what we're gonna call it um it's a it's a pretty hard rubber um but when it, it does kind of move in your hand and uh it it does stick well if you're playing on a clean court but if you're uh on a dusty court then you do slip out if it gets a little too dusty mm -hmm. so, and you have to wipe pretty frequently so um yeah it, it was good besides on dusty court same with the kd9 the kd9 is a uh, honeycomb traction it's a really soft rubber and i would not recommend playing those outdoors at all so which but is, which is better, dog? Uh, I would say it's a tie because tie ball game. Yeah, exactly because uh, they both have problems with dust. Right. You know, but uh, on a clean court, they're both really good. All right, midsole cushion. Midsole. The KD8 has um, it's it's full length zoom, but it's segmented, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it's uh, it's segmented in the uh, four foot area on the lateral side of the shoe, and uh, it, it and, and on the medial side of the four foot area, the ball where the ball of your foot is. Uh, that's where basically the whole um, you can feel the zoom unit, right? And uh, it kind of just uh, that's where it goes, right? When you're stepping, you like you bounce into it exactly, and it, uh, it's a little too much give for me, and mm -hmm. I didn't really enjoy it that much. So um, especially that's like a place where you want like a lot of response, exactly. You know, not so, not a lot of like, yeah. You know, in the KD9, it feels like um, it feels kind of the same, but then I think the zoom unit is a little thicker. Um, and uh, it, it just doesn't it doesn't give as much I guess you and know? it's probably more distributed exactly because it's not just in that one area exactly it's not segmented yeah so um, uh, I like the KD9s better uh, impact protection I, I would feel like is uh, pretty similar yeah. uh, response is pretty similar to besides that in you know, that problem in the forefront for the KD8 but um, I would give the win to the KD9s all right, I'll break down the uppers for us. I know the uh, KD9 is, is a nice fly knit. It's a nice fly knit material, uh, only in the forefoot area, and the back is more like a mesh mm -hmm. kind of, uh, uh, I don't know what kind of material it is. Um, but in uh, in the KD8 is their fly weave material. It's basically a woven, and it feels super soft and very nice. Um, what, what what do I look like better? Um, I give it a tie. They're both uh, super soft. It, uh, they both conform to your foot. And there's really no breaking time needed for either of the shoes, mm -hmm. so um, I give it a time. And what about fit? Fit, I would go KD9 because the KD8 is just way too freaking narrow. Mm -hmm. And um, go true to size for both of the shoes um, if you have a narrow ass foot for the KD8. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. But the KD8, even uh, even if I did go half a size up, I still had a problem where it was way too tight on my foot, and I would get needles, so I could not play in it at all. But right. the KD9 is a little bit better, actually way better. Uh, I did not have that problem. So for me, the fit goes to the KD9s. Support? Support, I would give it a tie. Um, uh, both of the materials don't really have a, a, that much give. And um, yeah, support is great in both shoes. Right. Lockdown? Lockdown, I would give a tie. Tie. Okay, moving on. Durability? Durability. Um, I, the KD9, I feel like the, the rubber traction, the traction is um, a lot softer. Mm -hmm. So in that department, the KD8 wins. But then I did have a lot of you guys messaging me telling you, uh, telling me that you guys had the KD8 uh, zoom unit pop. So really? uh, yeah, wow. so uh, I'm not sure. Um, I didn't have any issues like that, but um, I guess uh, I'll give it a tie because the rubber and then the zoom unit, you know, so yeah. it's, it's a tie. Ventilation? Uh, tie. Right. It's not. It's not super hot or super cold. All right. Um, how does it feel weight wise on foot? Weight wise, I would say the tie. tie. Besides, uh, uh, just just the weight. But then if you uh, add the cushion into it, uh, the KD8 uh, has that in the forefoot. It's just like way too much gift. So response time, it feels like the KD9 is a little bit better. But um, what feels lighter on foot, the weight wise, uh, it feels exactly the same. 
Aesthetics, KD9 for the win. KD9, the KD80. That's an ugly shoe. I never liked that, uh, the look <laughs> of that shoe. The KD9 yeah. is dope. KD8 is not selling either. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay, um, well, what's the price on them? They both, no, they dropped the price in the 9. Uh, I don't remember what the KD8 price was. But you could was. probably get the KD8s on sale, so. For like 80 bucks. Yeah. Uh, the KD9 is 150 bucks. Um, even still putting price into account here, I would still go with the KD9s because mm -hmm. I did not like the KD8s at all. So yeah, there it is. There's a versus video. Yeah, if you're thinking about copping either of those, that's the breakdown. And you know, take those categories that you're interested in and, and compare them, whatever. Hope we helped you guys out. We do a lot of versus videos, like a lot. So if you want to see any, any you know, shoes going toe to toe, we have a playlist for that. You can check it out and we got more coming every day. So uh, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. My name is Don. Timmy here. Soul Brothers, later. Peace.